good day to you. Today I want to go over um, the INF 2603 May June 2018 exam and I want to show you the solution to question 3 of this exam of May June. Okay, before I start I thought I better just show you some symbols that we're going to use. Um, these are for crow foot. Um, so this is uh, these are the symbols here. You can see that um, this symbol means one, and this means many, and it doesn't have any number value. This one means mandatory one, which means exactly one. This one has an optional one, which is zero or one, and then there's a mandatory to many, um, which is one or more, and this is optional many, zero or more. All right, so that's what I'm going to cover in today's example. So let us get started. I've got a, um, a program that I go to and it's called sleek.io. Okay. Um, and what's nice about that is it's a web based application. Um, not sleek, it's gleek, sorry. Um, gleek.io. And yeah, you click on create diagrams. And the nice thing is it gives you an option. You can create different types of diagrams, but we mostly want to focus on um, ERD diagrams. Uh, so those are entity relationship diagrams. So I just change this to here. And you can see it comes up with the default. Okay. So before I start, I just want to read the question out to you. Um, this is taken from the May-June um, 2018 exam. And it says here, question three, United Helpers is a non-profit organization that provides aid to people after natural disasters. Based on the following brief description of operations, create the appropriate fully labeled crow's foot ERD. So the first one says, individuals volunteer their time to carry out the task of the organization. For each volunteer, their name, address, and telephone number are tracked. Each volunteer may be assigned to several tasks during the time that they are doing volunteer work, and some tasks require many volunteers. So you see how it says here, um, and some tasks require many volunteers. So you know that there's going to be a many, okay? There are times that they are doing volunteer work, okay? So several tasks also means you can look at that. Um, it is possible for a volunteer to be in the system without having been assigned a task. So that means zero or, um, or many. Okay. Um, and it is possible to have tasks that no one has been assigned to. So they can still have zero tasks assigned to them. When a volunteer is assigned to a task, the system should track the start time and the end time of that assignment. So if you had to think of it, um, just drawing up a basic diagram, um, the table that I would use for that would be the um, volunteer volunteer table, okay? And um, from the information that I gathered out of that question, um, there's actually two two tables that I would create. So the one is a volunteer table, and the other one is an assignment table. And as you heard, they're going to keep the name of the person. They want the address of the person, and they want the phone number of the person. So this is the reason for me choosing uh, these various fields that I wanted. And um, so my primary key is going to be the um, volunteer ID. And so I've just called it vol ID. Okay. And then here's another table called assignment. And it's got a primary key of vol, vol ID and a, also a foreign key of vol ID. Okay. And then it's got a primary key of task code and a foreign key 2 of task code. And that will come on later. And um, I've used uh, two time variables to hold the information for the start time and the end time of the assignment. Okay. So that would be for that. That should cover this first part. It says here, for each task, there is a task code, task description, task type, and a task status. Okay. 
For example, there may be a task with the task code 101, description of answer the telephone, a type of recurring and a status of ongoing. There could be another task with the code of 102, description of prepare 5,000 packages of basic medical supplies, a type of packing and a status of open. So for this, I would create a table and I would create a table called task and um, so now I'll just create that table and I'll use what they've given me in the example okay so I've got my task code my task description my task type and my task status okay then it says here um, for all tasks of type packing there is a packing list that specifies the contents of the packages. There are many different packing lists to produce different packages, such as basic medical packages, childcare packages, food packages, etc. Each packing list has a packing list ID number, packing list name, and packing list description, which describes the items that ideally go into making that type of package. Every packing task is associated with only one picking list. A picking list may not be associated with any tasks or may be associated with many tasks. Tasks that are not packing tasks are not associated with any packing list. So the next, um, the next table that I would create would be the package table. Okay, and so I'm going to add that to my list here okay so now I've got I've got my package ID the created date the weight and my task code okay then um, so we've got that packing tasks result in the creation of packages each individual package of supplies that produced by the organization is tracked each package is assigned an ID number the date the package was created and total weight of the package is recorded. A given package is associated with only one task. Some tasks answer the phones will not have produced any packages, while other tasks prepare 5,000 packages of basic medical supplies will be associated with many tasks. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a content table and I believe the next one is talking about items. So I'm going to carry on and just read about this because I want to create the last two tables. The packing list describes the ideal contents of each package, but it is not always possible to include the ideal number of each item. Therefore, the actual items included in each package should be tracked. A package can contain many different items and a given item can be used in many different packages. Alright, so I'm going to create two extra tables, and the one table is called content, and the other table is called um, item. Okay, so I'm creating that here. Now I've got all my tables that are created, and so once I've got the created, then I can go back and I can read the um, things just for extra information. So let's finish reading the question now. For each item that the organization provides, there is an item ID, item description, item value and item quantity on hand stored in the system, along with tracking and actual items that are placed in each package. The quantity of each item placed in the package must be tracked too. For example, a packing list may state that basic medical packages should include 100 bandages, 4 bottles of iodine, and 4 bottles of hydrogen peroxide. However, because of the limited supply of items, a given package may include only 10 bandages, 1 bottle of iodine, and no hydrogen peroxide. The fact that this package includes bandages and iodine needs to be recorded along with the quantity of each that is included. It is possible for the organization to have items donated that have not been included in any package yet. But every package will contain at least one item. So based on all of these one to many zeros 
to many um, one-to-one relationships, we now need to read through and build our um, our flow. Okay, so the first thing is to um, merge the the volunteer and the assignment tables, and that has a one to many relationship. So here on the volunteer side, it's a one and only one, and the given one is zero to many assignment. Okay, so it's given zero to many assignment. Then um, the next um, the next one to uh, put together is the assignments and task table and as you can see that has a assignments has a zero to many and um, the task has one task and only one task okay so then the next uh, the next entity to join or tables to merge is the task and the list and you can see that's got zero to many for the task and it's got a zero or one for the list, okay. And um, so the next, the next one, next tables to to merge our task, our task and package. And you can see here it says tasks is one and only one, and it creates zero to many packages. All right. So that's what is represented here. And then the next one is the package has contents. Always remember that all packages will have at least one item. So that's what we've got here. We said it's definitely a package will have an item. So it could have zero or many items. Okay. And then finally, the last table that we merge is the content um, and the item. I shouldn't say merge, but you get what I'm saying. I mean, is that um, we're linking them. Okay, content has got the zero to many, and the item will definitely have one item. And so that is the that is the full ERD diagram for this. Um, and so that's how I would do it. Uh, just listen out for the has. Um, the um, given, the used by, create, all of those words have meaning, and the one to many has a, a huge meaning in in uh, these things, including if you say zero to many. So, just listen for those words when they they're giving you that dictation. And so, this is what the what the final the final result should be if you were drawing it in a in a textbook um, or in, in an exam, I would recommend um, doing it this way. Um, this is the this is the final solution for this. So thank you for watching. I hope that uh, there's some information that you can grasp from here. And yeah, just thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.